Why can't you find love? How long have you really been single? Really? Having trouble finding that special soulmate? I can solve this one. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Your love trouble? Over. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, Ambassador Gemini, and welcome now to Tuesday. Cloudy, introverted, highly triggered today for the Geminis. In fact, the next couple of days might be a little tumultuous for you. A lot of spiritual turbulence going on. That's because the moon has moved into Taurus. So that's stirring the pot of your subconscious. That means you are emotional about karmic relationships. Those are past life uh, friends have come back or lovers have come back. So you're very relationship sensitive there. You're sensitive to the weeds in your soul garden. You're definitely vulnerable to fall into your self-sabotaging behavior right now. Your dreams will probably be a little crazy, full of a lot of symbolism. Basically, your emotions are reporting in on your subconscious, which is where we store our karma, our weeds, and it's also how we access the other side. So we've got to go through our subconscious to get to the God consciousness, basically through our sub and super consciousness. So right now is a good spiritual time. You need spiritual reflection. <coughs> Excuse me. You will feel detached. You will feel disconnected, and that's okay. I really recommend some meditation, some yoga, um, or some exercise. If you're not a super spiritual person, get in your body, run it out, okay? And you're going to be easily triggered by the past. So if someone really pisses you off today or really makes you sad, mm, it's probably a spiritual pattern. That's why there's the really energy around what is normally just minor behavior. Now, Zimit of the Sun, it is time to be decisive today. Saturn rules the day, which also makes you a bit sharper and more critical on yourself than usual. We're in Chapter 2 of Sun in Pisces, and the Geminis are determining what their legacy should be in 2011. What's your career? What are you going to be known for? What are you going to do? Up till now, you should have identified what you're definitely not going to do in Chapter 1. In Chapter 2, you've been exploring with, well, I might be happy doing this. I might be happy doing that. Maybe I should steer my career that way. Well, today it's time to decide, okay, let's go for this. Let's go for this, legacy or career. So today, I invite you to go in front of a mirror, which I call church, Look yourself in the eye and decide, okay, I'm going to go for this, go for this, and go for this. And in chapter three, we're going to work through and make that happen. So time to decide. And Jupiter, Jupiter is saying it's time to act. Jupiter is now at the end of chapter one of Jupiter in Aries. So far, Jupiter has been exposing all the areas in society where you don't fit in. I don't fit in with these friends anymore. I don't really fit in with this Kiwanis club anymore. I don't really fit in as an American. I don't feel home at home here. Whatever that is. Well, Jupiter says, okay, now let's act on it. So if you decided you don't fit in in a certain organization, time to step away. If you're not really feeling like you fit with a friend or a circle of friends anymore, time to step away. Step away, take action, step away from what's not working for you in society right now, and that's going to open the doors to what might work, which is what Chapter 2 is about. Now, Jupiter, I just want to remind you, I've recorded a special on Jupiter in Aries called Jupiter in 2011. It's at the mothership in Sol Nirvana. I get super deep on this because Jupiter is one of the most important planets of the year. It's moving through two signs really quickly. For Geminis, it means a huge expansion of social life, and it means some deep karma at the end of the year. So if you want to know more about it, come to soulgarden.tv and click on Soul Nirvana, or just go to soulnirvana.com. Okay, Gemini, that's all I have for Tuesday. But tomorrow, a major epiphany because of Mercury conjuncting Uranus. Until tomorrow, live, love, be. So